Because I, I remember what Zig Ziglar said, if you help enough people get what they want, in turn, you know, it'll come back to you. So I saw it and I said, wow, this is truly, truly powerful. It's very simple, very uh, simplistic opportunity where the average person can be successful. Because if you think about this, we all went to elementary, we went to high school, and some of us went to college. Now normally at the age of 18, we're trying to climb this ladder of success, right? And normally we either go into college or we go into the workforce. But what happens at the age of 35, whatever we're doing, guess what? We're doing it, right? And so we live from, from 35 to 55 in this comfort zone, working in what we call a J-O-B, right? And everybody knows what J-O-B is, right? Just over broke. And understand, we got to start somewhere but I've always said this, you must work to not just earn, but you must work to what? Learn. And so when you have a job, stop buying stuff and start looking at ways you can build. I always go to the Bible and it says uh, in 2 Kings, the fourth chapter, where it talked about the widow and the pot of oil. You've heard that before, right? Well, the husband died and then the, the widow didn't have anything to, to pay her bills with because the bills collectors were coming to collect her two church children for payment. And what happened, she went to a man of God, which was Elijah, and what happened? He said, what shall I do for you? Because she didn't know what to do. She said, all I had was a what? A pot of oil. And what she did was very, very unique. She started a home-based business. <laughs> Think about that. She started an oil business. Now, Five years ago, she would never thought of opening up a home oil business, right? Ten years ago, I would have never told you I was going to be in the travel business or saving money uh, when I go to here and there, you know. So the thing is, she started a business, and she got her family involved as a team. And I tell you, it's, it, it, she paid her debt and lived off the rest, and it's just amazing. So what we have here today, understand you're in that comfort zone. We gotta start looking at ways that we can what? Build a business, home-based business. Because if you're having a home-based business, you're entitled to probably over 130 tax deductions. So you can basically, me driving here to Tupelo is a tax deduction. Me staying in the hotel that I am. And I love what our founder said, Steve. He says, this is what we call workation, all right? So I just wanna encourage you to sit back. We got some powerful, powerful information that we're going to share with you. And we're going to be back to Tupelo. And again, I can see right now, because you know, the Bible says that where there is no vision, the what? People perish. I see right now there's going to be hundreds, thousands of people in this auditorium when I come back. And again, we're going to do it. But the thing is, we got some stuff that we're going to share with you that's going to take you to the a whole nother level. And there's three things before I bring up the director of marketing, uh, Chief Operating Officer, <laughs> Tim Jones. Um, what I would like to do is just kind of give you three things, and that is success. What is success? Success is a progressive realization of a worthwhile dream or goal. All right, got it? We got to have short-term goals, long-term goals. All right? Number two, we got to have an attitude. And you know, your attitude determines what? Your altitude, how high you go. What you read today determines what? What you be tomorrow. So you've got to what? Focus. you got to look at reading, changing the program. Because if you look back at the last two years of your life, the last three years of your life, the last four years of your life, what has happened? we got to change the direction. I didn't say do a 360. I said do a whole 180. Start looking at ways that it can help you what? Number one, save money. Make money. And also what? Create wealth. Those are the things that we need to do. And then we need to find a vehicle. And that vehicle, I'm not talking about a Cadillac or a Mercedes or a BMW. I'm talking about a vehicle that can help you get from point A to point B. So today, sit back, put your seatbelt on, fasten up, because we're about to take you on a ride. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you Tim Jones. Yeah. Woo!